So criminal law is a compulsory paper and you'd usually take it in the first year of the degree. And I love teaching it because the factual situations that we deal with in criminal law, they're pretty gory. So we're looking at homicide, sexual offences, violent offences, that sort of thing. But because the facts are immediately understandable by everybody, that means we can get on pretty quickly into some interesting critical evaluation of the law and through the law, thought about human relations as well. So taking some examples from the law of sexual offences, a really important question there is what do we mean by consent, or more importantly perhaps, lack of consent? For the offence of rape to be committed, we need a complainant who was not consenting to the sexual intercourse. So what do we do in a case where the victim says, or the alleged victim says, that she only consented because she was drunk and had she been sober, she wouldn't have consented. What do we do with that as a matter of law? Should that mean that for the purposes of the law of rape, she wasn't actually consenting to that intercourse? Would it make any difference to our evaluation of that situation if it was the defendant who had plied her with the alcohol, perhaps deliberately to get her drunk, hoping that he'd then be able to have intercourse with her? Another slightly different example, what if we have a defendant who has some sort of sexually transmitted disease which he or she hasn't disclosed to the sexual partner and that sexual partner consents to intercourse, perhaps instigates the sexual encounter, subsequently discovers the sexually transmitted disease and says, oh my goodness, I would never have consented to that had I known about the sexually transmitted disease. Can we say in that situation that that complainant nevertheless consented to sex on that occasion. So that's just two, I think, really fascinating examples which I hope will give you some insight into some of the sorts of questions that we have to consider on the criminal law course.